welcome to another episode. Just got to Northwood and look at what is ahead of me. So there is the man right there. Look at that. How's it going, buddy? You're good. It's good to see you. Ready got it all, go, all loaded up for me. Yeah. Nash travel trailer. Look at that truck. And uh, we're going to go have some fun. Okay, so there was a lot of people standing around when I just made that first intro, so I didn't want to show my enthusiasm that much, but you have no idea how excited I am right now. So I just stopped at Walmart, I got some stuff, I got a fishing rod, I got a, uh, a watermelon, uh, some beer, some food, we are ready to go camping. Oh, I got some salad too, because this body right here, it's a temple, <laughs> and some bananas. Watch out, coming through. 12 Coronas. Look at how much space I have. And this is a small, this is like one of their smaller travel trailers. But because I live in a truck camper, just this amount of space is nice. <laughs> my one my one perishable, my one can of soup can go up here. There. So our first stop today is Pilcher Creek. That is where we're gonna be going. It's a 41 minute drive apparently. So let's hit the road. Oh, and did I mention the truck that's hauling the Nash travel trailer is a, uh, a one ton uh, Duramax diesel. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm so sorry I interrupted that uh, drone sequence. I, I just, like, look at this view. I know it was just in the, in the footage, but look at this. What a perfect area to fly the, uh, the drone. Doesn't the truck and tr uh, trailer look good? Oh man, that was awesome. Somebody in the comment section said, are you sure you can back up trailers? I'm a truck driver, guys. You guys see that? Pro. <laughs> Let me show you around. Now it's time for the moment you've all been waiting for. Let's go check out this Nash travel trailer. Now, a couple things I wanna tell you before we check it out. Number one, I'm gonna do a really quick review on it right now. Tomorrow, I'm gonna to do a full tour. Like every switch, every button. Uh, I just don't have time for this video and I wanted it to be more of a, an adventure video. So that's number one. And number two, this is the small travel trailer. When I get back to the factory, Colby says he has a much larger one like this that he wants to show me and show you. So uh, there will be uh, a larger version of this that we'll get to see when we get back to the factory. But without further ado, let me give you a quick walk around before we make some food and uh, and drink some beer and hunker down for the night. Also, I think I'm gonna do some fishing. I got a fishing rod. So, I think that you guys like it best when I just flip the camera around, flip the mic around, and uh, first person it to you. Let's go. Because I know you guys like my uh, my heavy breathing right, right into the microphone. Let's go inside. 
We got the bed directly on the right hand side with storage up top. And I love how Northwood does this, but they always have these amazing engravings on the, uh, on the wooden side, just that, that extra detail. I love the one in mine. Now let's go to the dry bath. This is a very nice bathroom, very spacious. So let's go inside and just show you how spacious uh, it actually is. I am 6'2 and a bit with the, the curved roof that they have. My head's not even close to touching. You've got your toilet, your sink, pretty standard bathroom, and then your shower. Love the skylight. You got your control panel for your solar panel and you've got your control panel for everything else that a standard RV comes with right on the wall here. Then you've got the cooktop, which we're gonna use right after I finish this because I'm hungry. We're gonna cook a steak up with the frying pan I just bought. And it looks like it does come with a oven. Continuing on, you've got your gen set here. That's the start and stop. You've got your microwave, same style of microwave I have. Sink, really like this sink two big big sinks right there and then you got some storage up here for your cups and your plates oh i wasn't supposed to show you that marshmallows it's not a camping trip to you have marshmallows um i'm gonna show you how i'm gonna i'm gonna cook these later or not cook them but you know that's quite a bit for plates and uh utensils looks like you've got your setting for your your audio here and also, oh yeah, and also this can be a DVD player for your TV, which is a 28 inch TV. And what I love about this TV is it's DC power. You do not need an inverter or to run your generator or to be plugged in to run this TV. You can just be sitting like I am running it off your batteries with this DC plug. Great, great idea. Now let's just swing around and open the fridge, which looks in better shape now <laughs> because we got some food and some beer in it and of course the freezer by the way i'm running this off propane uh it is a propane it's a three-way fridge i'm pretty sure it's a three-way fridge dc ac and propane or it's just propane and ac and then you've got your dinette with some storage over here as well which i'm putting my water and my beer when you're sitting at your dinette Look at how much you can see. You know, that's the whole camping experience. Being able to enjoy and take in um, the beautiful places that you go. Uh, so I really, really like this. This is something in the truck camper that I don't have, just because the truck camper is built a little bit different. But that is, a, that's something really nice. You know, open windows, lightens things up, and just, just changes the, the whole mood of a smaller camper. And I will bet you any money that this converts into a bed with the cushions. That is my very quick tour of the Nash 17K. Oh, and uh, AC, of course. By the way, I asked this question. Uh, 17K is at 17 feet. It's actually not 17 feet. That's just the model uh, uh, number, I guess. But um, uh, 22 feet 4 inches is the overall length. And tomorrow we're going to get into some of the, uh, the nitty gritty and all of the specs. So let's, um, I'm, I'm very hungry. Let's cook some steak and uh, let's do some exploring. I'm going to go get my fishing rod, go see if we can catch a fish. Probably not. I shouldn't say that. Maybe we'll catch a fish. And uh, <laughs> it's funny, driving up here, I've... Uh, I just noticed every time I go camping or every, not so much every time I go camping, every time I hit the logging roads or a dirt road and go to a place that not many people are to a beautiful place like this, I just have this constant smile on my face. Man, if you, if you enjoy camping as much as I do, you know exactly that feeling of just getting off the road. Oh man, it's so quiet out here too. I'm going to have the best sleep tonight. There's not a soul.
<laughs> I knew I was gonna forget something. Fork, knife, bowl. So I'm <laughs> gonna have to be a bit barbaric. I don't know what I'm gonna do with my Caesar salad. I might just put it in there and mix it with the steak, like after. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, but one good thing I found is if you need a charging port in one of these, there's a lot. I've got my drone, I've got my cell phone, my laptop, all out here, and there's still places to plug in. And then over here, I've got my GoPro and my, uh, my camera battery. So most people don't have that many, uh, many electronics, but there's no, uh, no shortage of plugins, that's for sure. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> How am I gonna cut my lime? Uh, I'm gonna have to run into, I'm, I'm, I'm leaving tomorrow and I'm gonna go check out a new place. I'll have to go get some, some cutlery. I'll just have to drink Corona without a lime tonight and I think I'm gonna save Caesar salad for tomorrow and, oh, and my watermelon. I could break my watermelon, but that's gonna be too messy. I'll save all that for tomorrow. Darn. Those steaks look pretty good though, don't they? <laughs> First bite's always the best. It is about 8.40 p.m. and the sun is just starting to go down. I got the, uh, the lights on inside. I wanna show you my genius idea. When I was coming here, I, uh, I just had it in my mind that I wanted to have a fire. Now, I'm almost 100% sure there's fire bans right now. So I was like, well, when I get here, I'm gonna buy a propane fireplace. So when I was in Walmart doing my shopping, I couldn't find one that made any sense to buy for uh, for three days. So I decided to buy one of these. There's the box right there. It sits on a table, it lights up. I mean, it's a pretty okay idea. It has some uh, some glass that goes around it. It's very pretty. The only downside is that this one uh, pound propane tank sticks straight up and down. So I kind of had to brace it like this. All right. So <laughs> there's my fire tonight. And I guess I'll just sit on the steps by my fire and eat a couple marshmallows that I got. These are stuffed with uh, with chocolate. Well, we'll roast a couple marshmallows and enjoy the night. And one thing that I've been told this camper has, LED lights. Oh, 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 oh. oh that makes up for no fire. That looks cool. So there's the chocolate that they put in the middle. Let's see how it tastes. All right, let's see how these taste. They're supposed to go in s'mores, but I forgot to get the crackers. <laughs> oh, those are really good. Well, my friends, it's that time of night. I am, uh, I'm gonna sign off and I'm gonna hang out with my little fire here and enjoy the rest of the night. Tomorrow I'm going to get up bright and early. I'm going to do a full review on the trailer. So that'll be the next video. And then tomorrow after I do that video, I'm going to head off 
and continue my journey. So that will be the next one after the tour. So have a lovely rest of your night, guys. Keep living that dream as always, my friends. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you in the next video. And I wanna give a special, special shout out to Lily. I know you're gonna be watching this. Best wishes to you, okay?